Perfect. 22 mag is one of my favorite beaver guns and I've just put this uh, Zeiss Terra 2 to 7 power scope on it. It is an awesome uh, priced scope for, for doing something like uh, putting on a rimfire. Had the guys at Corlanes actually put on a proper real big game rifle uh, mount here. That's one of the weaknesses of putting a, a scope on any rimfire is that usually they've got a, a very weak system and they, and they don't uh, hold your scope nice and firm. So this is all big game stuff which means that it'll handle the abuse on the, on the trap line. My two favorite uh, cartridges are the, the uh, 22 Mag and the 22 Hornet. And I probably pack the Hornet the most because I use it, you know, in the wintertime, I might get a shot at a coyote or a lynx or something like that, which is legal for me on my registered trap line to shoot. The uh, 22 Mag is just an awesome beaver gun too. And today's show is going to be a little bit of a, a, about beaver shooting. What we are actually doing, Sandy and I, is we're going to get prepared. We're getting prepared for the season. So that means getting some, uh, uh, some beaver for bait and a little bit of cabin rentals that everybody's been asking about. Gets pretty busy. Stick around. Today's Hillbilly Moving Day. Actually, new mattress for the cabin. Sandy and I decided we needed a new mattress, and as much time as we spend here, we should have a nice mattress. So we hauled one in. We're going to do some renovations in here. We... Uh, didn't have time last year, made it through one winter. There's a few things we want to change. One is behind this wall up here. You see there's an upstairs. But behind this wall, he's got a, a, a big um, yeah, old fuel tank. I guess he was going to make a hot water tank, uh, a holding tank out of it, whatever. We're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of these stairs and just put a ladder up here. Our bedroom is in there, but this was a bathroom, which when you don't have any running water or anything else is silly. You know, the outhouse is outside. Things like the sink here and the sink out here are going to go because you just use a, a wash basin. And then you can, when you're done with the wash basin, you toss the water and then you've got your countertop back. Whereas when there's a sink there, it's always there. But this wall is going to come out. We're going to have a ladder that goes upstairs here. And now we're going to have, this will be part of our kitchen. We'll extend our kitchen and make it much larger. Get rid of this creaky old door. Well, it just makes the space easier to heat. And... Uh more comfortable just to relax in when we can do some relaxing out here. Oh yeah, and the bus bench goes too. Done with yeah. that. That's <laughs> alright, it was good. It, it you know, did what, it, what we needed it to. Trapping is the cornerstone that Canada was built on. Brave and sometimes crazy men and women, fueled by the lucrative fur trade, explored and mapped our great nation. Hundreds of years have passed since then, but trapping still remains vibrant, strong, and steeped in the ancient traditions. The fur bearers still follow the old paths and live as dictated by thousands of years of instinct. Fur only gets prime in the harsh temperatures of winter and trappers must respect and prepare for the weather. Trapping's past is firmly rooted in history, but today the gear and techniques have changed. Canada is still known for the best wild fur in the world, and today our pelts are sold on the global market. Our community is large, and our numbers are growing. We are trappers. This is what we do and where we belong. Join us in our adventures. Welcome to Trapping Inc., the face of today's trapper. Look at the size of them there. Didn't break the new TV, did it? Nope. Wow, what a difference it makes without that stairwell in the way. Yeah. It's opened everything right up. And the good news you were saying is 
We were concerned this was a bearing wall. Yeah. It's not. Well? That ends the destruction portion of our program. <laughs> Can you believe this all came out of there? Look at Even the kitchen sink. Well, that's the bathroom sink, but I get what you're saying. <laughs> a fuel tank. The old bus bench is going. The Argo's got a load to make again here. This is more Welcome than... to our disaster. <laughs> yeah. And here we thought we were going to start laying tile over in that corner over there. Oh, no. In this corner right here where we piled up all of everything. I can't help it. Oh, well. No big deal. I'm going out to film. I'm very confused why he can't go in and just lay down. We're using one of the old uh, upper units as a... Sawhorse. And then you can see some of the other stuff that we brought in via Argo. And some of the stuff we brought out. We're very close to um, having the main room completed. A little bit of lunch sitting right here. We've had to disconnect the fireplace. So you can see it's sitting here. Chimney hanging there. Did you tell everybody what your favorite part of the new floor was? Oh, that we covered up all the, the yuck in the bathroom? No, that you didn't have to wash the old one first. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> Canada has a long tradition of producing the finest fur in the world. At Belial Traps, we have been a proud supporter of this reputation for over 20 years. Our patented designs and proven reliability have set the gold standard in professional grade traps. We are proud of our contributions to the advancement of trapping. Our belief in uncompromising quality means that every Belial Trap is 100% Canadian made by us for unbeaten performance. Belial Traps, first in the forest. This segment brought to you by Argo UTV. Any season, any terrain. Online at ArgoUTV.com. In case we find a beaver. Oh yeah, I'll take the 22 Hornet and I'll take the 22 sh with some shorts in it for uh, for rats. But uh, it's time. We've had a, a good busy day. It's time to go set some more traps. And you can see where we've got to here. We need to spend a little bit more money and get some more cabinets out here. Get them, get them set up. But right now hopefully that's the end of the month and then when we get back um while i'm cooking supper i think you might want to reconnect that you think so you had it so hot in here last night <laughs> i don't need heat i don't need heat again till december i'm and talking he, about madagascar hot hey, in here now, now let's be clear about who loaded the stove last night who it has not me who has kept somebody warm for 35 years that's true. Exactly. But, but it was I didn't only want... minus three to <laughs> minus thirty last. It was a preemptive strike. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't want to hear no whining and moaning. Oh. <laughs> so instead, we had to close the door just so we didn't melt. Let's let's go do some trapping. Okay. Okay, we're going to use the big 330 Belial. I got a, a new setter here sent to me. It's a RTS setter, it's called. And the biggest advantage of it, I guess, is that it's one-handed. So if you ever caught yourself, you know, you could, uh, you could get out of, out of it one-handed, which with these big 330s is not an easy thing. It's just like a, it works uh, phenomenally well. That's how you how you set them. You, you you take and squeeze here. And you, you're not you're not trapping on your on your ends of your springs like the with the other setters. 
you just take and uh, set her up, squeeze her like you're caulking. <laughs> but it also has a couple other really neat features here. Not only do we set that really nice and easy, but Sandy has problem with uh, setting these big traps. Oh, I'm setting that up high like that because I don't want a muskrat to spring it. Not very often do you catch a muskrat in a 330. And what you end up doing is, is getting your trap sprung for nothing and giving a muskrat a, run, a, a launch through the air. Here's the neat part about this. Look at this. So not only can you set your springs, you can set your trap, but you've also got a, a, safety. a safety here, yeah. Mm -hmm. There we go. We got a safety. Okay, well, I'm going to go down and check that out. Um, you can see here the beaver has been coming right up. Uh, the sand is actually still wet for from him, so he might have even made a trip to uh, tonight. I'm going to um, I'm gonna set one down in the water down there, right where he's coming out. I'll just. Looking good. Uh, this block is give him something to look at. I need to, my lure. Oh. This segment brought to you by Argo UTV. Any season, any terrain. Online at ArgoUTV.com. Canada has a long tradition of producing the finest fur in the world. At Belisle Traps, we have been a proud supporter of this reputation for over 20 years. Our patented designs and proven reliability have set the gold standard in professional grade traps. We are proud of our contributions to the advancement of trapping. Our belief in uncompromising quality means that every Belisle Trap is 100% Canadian made by us for unbeaten performance. Belisle Traps, first in the forest. This segment brought to you by Belisle Traps. First in the forest. Find us online at BelisleTrap.com. That sounded like it hit. Surprisingly, not night, not not bad for a, a trapping lure. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay.
Okay, let's head uh, back to the machine and we'll go hop over to the other side here. A little bit dirty, hey? A little. Not much. But the others are others are absolutely clean. Yeah, so they probably use this in the morning. Maybe they haven't started doing anything tonight. Could be. Usually though. It's a little bit dirtier than this, but It doesn't happen very often. Sprung and nothing in it. Beavers won, Ritz nothing. Uh oh. <laughs> Nothing on the trail, but something in the water. Yeah, well, see, I said I'm both on the same. This guy here would have been heading there, right? Yeah. So he never made it that far, but he did make it here. If you come around over that way. Okay. And that way worked the way it was supposed to. Oh, and a good catch, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, he seems to be a pretty heavy beaver. Right now, weight is more important than anything because we're, we're catching them for bait. <laughs> so, we prefer, holy cow, he's got to be a 45 pound beaver. Yeah, and he uh, he most certainly got her. That, that Belial did the job right there, right, right behind the head. It was, he was all over in a hurry. Yeah, okay, so we're one for three so far. They are so destructive. I mean, it's important though. The wet, wetlands not important in the world, no problem. But well, they still have to be controlled, you know. Everything does. Yeah. This one get a good shot. Of wow. Yeah. Those are some very long. Maybe those are longer than. Yeah. They usually wore back a little more. Yeah. I don't think he's been doing some heavy duty chewing, maybe too much little stuff. There we go. Very good. Oh yeah! It's a good beaver. <laughs> <laughs> you always get a giggle out of that, don't you? Man, what would we do without the Argo? It is such a workhorse. Well, and this one, we have the, the topper right at the beginning. Yeah. So what a difference that makes. Yeah. <laughs> Poor sand last winter, you know, no topper, you were cold. Code, 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 code. You know what I like about too about this XTI Titan model? It's the big, big windshield. Yes. We were just talking about that yesterday as you were <laughs> driving down. Normally you have to kind of hunch over, but... I do, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm long in the body, so I mean the other windshield was hitting me here, but this one, I sit and I got this huge... Look out right through here, you know? This segment brought to you by Belial Traps. First in the forest. Find us online at BelialTrap.com. 
Canada has a long tradition of producing the finest fur in the world. At Belisle Traps, we have been a proud supporter of this reputation for over 20 years. Our patented designs and proven reliability have set the gold standard in professional grade traps. We are proud of our contributions to the advancement of trapping. Our belief in uncompromising quality means that every Belisle Trap is 100% Canadian made by us for unbeaten performance. Belisle Traps, first in the forest. This got sprung, so I don't think we're lucky, but... What is with... I'm not my diving set, so... Oh, look at this one! <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, my. Another big one, too. Not as big as the other one. I guess. Wow. These Belial catches are great, but they don't move very, very easy. There we go. Which is a good feature. You don't want them sliding up and down the, the spring every which way to Sunday. They're never where they should be. In that case, that was more my own operator error. Well, that's great, because these guys are going to make the beginning of our long fur bait, which is only two weeks away. I know. What a great uh, October, though, huh? Yeah. Oh wow, yeah, you can sure see one is obviously bigger than the other one, yeah. Yeah, that's the second one. That's the second one. He's way bigger beaver. Huh. Yeah. Well, not bad for our... Uh... In between renovations and flooring and wallboarding and everything else, run out for a few minutes and get a, get a few uh, beavers. The really funny part is, is that well, we see, we seen lots of beaver. We could have shot them, could have trapped them. Is it a beaver dam on on one of the access roads into our, our cabin? Those beavers are the safest beavers in the world because they have a big mess going there with with water and and uh, the roads all trenched out. And thing is, is that we cross it with the Argo, no problem. But nobody else gets in there, so they have a charmed life. Those beavers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no doubt they uh, they're just a, they're just fun to watch. You know? Oh, it's really neat to watch, and and they had no fear of us at all last night. They're pulling out sticks and and burying them in their pile as we're sitting right there. You know, like I said to Sandy, I said the safest beavers in the world, and they know it. So as you can see, Rich misses too, don't we all? Life on the trap line is full of laughs and giggles and a lot of hard work, but it's very relaxing for us. We get to get away from home, and it's just uh, like nothing else. I hope you've enjoyed this week's show, and we'll see you next week on the line. Trapping Inc. is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Argo UTV. Any season, any terrain. Online at ArgoUTV.com. Belial Traps. First in the forest. Find us online at BelialTrap.com. And by Alberta Outdoorsman Magazine. Alberta's only hunting, fishing, and trapping magazine. You can keep up with all the action online at trappinginc.com or join our Facebook and YouTube sites.